Welcome to the channel. My name is Matias. Today we're back with the X of Swords crossover. We're going to cover Wolverine issue 6 and X Force issue 13. Written by Benjamin Percy. And basically, we have Wolverine's search for the Muramasa Blade. It's his ticket into the X of Swords tournament. The thing is that the original blade was destroyed by Dakin when he infused it into his claws way back in the 2010s. Now with these tie-in issues, on one hand we get the introduction of a pretty interesting new villain for Wolverine. But on the other hand, we have a moment where the writer jumps the shark so badly that it sort of took me out of the story. But I'm getting ahead of myself, so without further ado, let's get into this. You know, I have to say that Cocoon Aaron Wolverine is a straight up asshole most of the times. There are so many moments that just leave me scratching my head. It's like, bro, that wasn't the proper way of carrying yourself. Now, in this case, we have Wolverine. He goes to Silver Samurai. He wants to hunt down Muramasa. But instead of having a normal conversation with Silver Samurai, he straight up attacks him. Supposedly on Krakoa, all previous grudges that any character had to another one on Krakoa should have been left behind. But in this case, Wolverine's going full on animal rage against poor Silver Samurai. Stabbing the poor guy in the back with six animadian claws. While all this is going down, we have War and Plague who are recruiting their fighter, the one that's going to go toe to toe against Wolverine. The thing is that this character has been imprisoned. He's responsible for the death of War's husband. His name is Solemn, and the thing is that he seems to be a real piece of work, a pretty complicated character. One of those classic villain characters that has plans within plans, and that's always ready to screw you over. He sort of gives off old school Dakin vibes. War really does not want to work with this guy, but he has been chosen for the tournament. And basically they tell him, look, try to find the Muramasa Blade before our opponent does. Remove him from the tournament so we can have a leg up in the competition. And Solemn just does this out of pure curiosity and boredom. He doesn't seem like a guy that would follow orders normally. So Wolverine, after interrogating pretty heavily Silver Samurai, ends up in Japan. It seems that Muramasa was kidnapped by the Hand. And then what happens is Wolverine discovers that Muramasa was actually taken literally to hell. Where he doesn't think for a second, he goes into this portal, he dives into a lake full of lava. And here's where the story sort of loses me because Wolverine, when he jumps into this lake full of lava, he's just left with a skeleton. He should have totally died. It's just too much for me to see Wolverine's skeleton walking with no flesh or muscle. And it's just moving around. I know that Wolverine technically can't die because he beat the crap out of the Angel of Death. But in the Krakoan era, Wolverine had been killed up to around 10 times by now. He was being killed off way too easy, and here you have him, just a skeleton, and he survives this. Stupid rant aside, Wolverine ends up being thrown into prison within hell. I don't know why they would need a prison within hell itself, but... There he finds his new cellmate, which is Solem. Solem is just elated that he gets to meet his opponent in the tournament. Wolverine has no idea who this guy is. In this moment of the story, we discover that one of Solon's powers is that his skin seems to be like animanium laced. He can't be cut. The guy is pretty much unstoppable and even more formidable than a character like Cyber. Like he has no weak spots. But what happens with Solem is that he decides to help Wolverine in his endeavor to rescue Muramasa, find his blade. And what happens after crashing a wedding that was going to unite the two different factions of the hand, the left hand and the right hand, they get their hands on the Muramasa blade and Solem accidentally gets cut. 
And he's astounded that something was able to hurt him. That this particular sword is actually a liability to himself. So he's sort of pumped for the tournament. He feels like the stakes are high. And he even actually lets Wolverine take the Muramasa Blade back to Krakoa. So I'm leaving this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.